Hello friends, welcome to TechDose and in this video, I will show you how to find a cycle in a singly linked list. I have drawn a singly linked list with cycle and without a cycle. I will show you at the end of the video the code illustration for this algorithm. So let us first see how to find a cycle. In order to find a cycle, I will take two pointers that is slow pointer SPTR and fast pointer FPTR. The slow pointer will move by one step and the fast pointer will move by two steps simultaneously until they both become equal or the fast pointer hits null that means the list ends either of the two happens then we will stop so if slow pointer moves then it will come to two and the fast pointer will come to three we will compare them both if they are equal then we will stop and the second condition was that if fptr was the last node or it hits null then we will stop so they are not equal we will keep on moving 2 will come to 3 this fast pointer will come to 5 they are not equal again then this slow pointer will come to 4 the fast pointer will come to 3 they are not equal this slow pointer will come to 5 the fast pointer will also come to 5 now they are equal so what we will do is that now we can assign either of this fast pointer or the slow pointer to head so let us just assign slow pointer to head and we will just move one step at a time for both slow pointer and fast pointer in order to find the junction node so the slow pointer will come to 2 the fast pointer will come to 6 the slow pointer will come to 3 and the fast pointer will come to 3 and we will keep on comparing while moving okay so as soon as they come to point the same node we will stop there and this will be our junction point so whenever the junction exists then we can be sure that a cycle also exists so now what we will do is that we will start from this node we will start printing and we will stop only if we again come back to this node okay so this is how the algorithm works and it takes order of n time and two passes in order to find the junction node and again one pass in order to print the cycle okay so let us just run the same algorithm with a singly linked list with no cycle okay so sptr that is slow pointer and the fast pointer fptr will point to head and we will move slow pointer by one step fast pointer by two step now slow will come to three fast will come to five now slow will come to four and fast will come to point to null so i told you that if fast pointer hits null or it comes to the last element of a non-cyclic linked list then we will stop and another condition was that if slow pointer becomes equal to the fast pointer so in the first case there will be no cycle and in the second case as you can see here there will be cycle okay so as fptr hits null and sptr is here so there is no cycle and we don't need to print the cycle as well so this algorithm works for both these cases that means it handles this case as well so next we will see the code illustration for this algorithm this is the code to find cycle in a linked list i have already created a linked list with cycle as i showed you in the diagram the first thing which i will do is that i will find the junction and will store it in the start node so i will send the head pointer to the find junction function so let us see it in the find junction algorithm i had told you that i will take slow pointer sptr and fast pointer fptr this ptr will receive the head and we will assign both sptr and fptr to that head pointer now what we will do is that i will find the junction point while fptr is not equal to the last node or doesn't hit null till then i will run this code so what i will do is that i will move sptr by one step fptr by one step and then if fptr is not null then again i will move it by one step remember that i was moving the fast pointer by two steps after moving them i was comparing sptr and fptr 
if they both come out to be equal then there is a junction and cycle exists so what i was doing is that i was putting this slow pointer again to the head node which is ptr and i was moving both slow pointer and fast pointer one step at a time so here in the while loop you can see that until this sptr and fptr becomes equal i will move this sptr by one step and fptr by one step and as soon as they become equal this while loop will break and we will return the junction point so this is how the find junction algorithm works and if there is no cycle then null will be returned as you can see in line number 43 so in the main function if this start is equals to null then there will be no cycle otherwise there will be cycle and i will print the data of the node and i will then print the cycle elements all the elements of the cycle by using this function print cycle so let us see the print cycle function now this print cycle function receives the junction pointer in this ptr the junction point uh, we had three as junction in our figure okay now what i will do is i will take a node start traverse pointer which will be assigned to this junction point and i will keep traversing unless this traverse pointer becomes equal to this junction point so there i will stop here as you can see that i am printing the data of the traverse pointer and i am moving it by one step and then i am comparing whether it's equal to the junction point or not so in this way all the elements of the cycle will get printed let us now run the code it has compiled and now i will just run it now you can see that it's printing that cycle starts at node 3 and then it's printing the cycle elements are 3 4 5 and 6 so this is our correct output okay i hope this video was helpful and you were able to grasp all of its concepts if you want more on programming or interview experiences then please subscribe to our channel and like the video if this was helpful see you in our next video thank you